Hi, John here. Uh, today is Monday, the 21st of uh, November 2016. Um, just catching up on uh, the weekend and last week uh, meeting up in um, Kaitaia, Awanui, and uh, just contacting some of the people that we came in contact with and I'm just about to call one of them now. Yes, uh, John Wanoi here. Happy Monday to you too. I'm alright, always a bit tired, but uh, uh, in late long nights. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yes, yeah, quite a bit involved, but uh, we try to uh, to uh, communicate with many people as we can. And it, it, hey. Yes, big venture and still needs still needs expertise in the uh, in the whole makeup to make it work. Yes, yes, I, I, I see that. I went to your website and had a look. This is the first time I had a look at it. And it always excites me of anything down the east coast or along the coastline there. I'm in the, I'm in the, eh? I've, I'm more, I've, I've been more trip trapping up and down the coast to keep an eye on the foreshore and seabed where my, most of my attention has been through the years in, in, uh, in uh, getting some protection of, of those resources out there. Uh, yeah, well, we'll get to that yet. Just the, my main concern is getting the flag up, and I've been on that on that on that subject for a long, long time. And there's only very few of us that know how that works, and Jim is one of them. Uh, Tuki is one of them that understands that connection with the navy and the sea, and. Yes, yes. So. Uh, <clears throat> my my concern is Westminster, getting into Westminster, and telling them who we are, and and yes. to talk to us um, directly uh, instead of going through uh, someone else uh, that's uh, got control of everything and taking too much. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's the yeah yeah. So we. Yeah, we have to make it in terms that is acceptable to, to say uh, another word than stolen is settlement. Se settlement through the uh, British who are still um, responsible for letting John Key and, and his lot um, run the place on our behalf. So we have, to, we, have to, we have to identify who we are, what's our, what's our authority to uh, pick up from where the ancestors left things for us, and we we, we, we haven't grasped, grasped it yet. The enormity of, of trade, and that's 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 where I've, I've set it all up on 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 68 websites on Facebook because it's free me media uh, that I've taken a hold of just to throw things out. All I could do is notify and wait and see who who who's going to argue. Uh, and that's about all I could do, um, um, as as to let the world know what's going on and who we are, how how we fit into the contract with uh, the British, uh, Westminster, and not John Key. There's two contracts: John Key's one, and our own one. So, yeah. So that comes into the uh, economic development side of things. 
I wasn't going to put the tidal turbines, the big tidal turbines on the Ranfilly Bank until this flag went up. And that took, that took uh, at least 12 years to do that. Uh, and the foreshore seabed. So I've been to all those uh, uh, sort of meetings and, and the wine box and all that sort of thing, being in New Zealand first way back. And uh, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I was I was the first one there when Tohina and them were were, were forming, and uh, I was in real estate in Remiura then, uh, selling real estate, and and so that's where I picked up all the real estate stuff. <clears throat> how those titles and things went together. Then I did the Manukau, uh, Mohi Manukau's history, and then it that opened up a can of worms in the Vatican, because he's Vatican, you see, uh, the Freemasons, Freemasons. So, so that opened up... Are you there? Hello? I have to top up my phone, sorry. Um, ran out of credit. <coughs> Won't be a second. I always have this problem because of the phone calls. Won't be a second. I'm just having a good conversation here. I don't want to cut the mobile off. Um, this is a damn nuisance. Um, Credit card, always a credit card. One day we don't need credit cards. That's where my wife's going. It just says the mobile phone. Quicker. Put the light on so I can see. Oh, this is a nuisance. <coughs> Trouble is I'm topping up my um, mobile and then the big $46 combo will come out <coughs> and have more credit credits than anything else. Okay, here we go. I was hoping he would ring back, but um, I'll be just 
Actually, I'll have to ring him. <coughs> Yeah, I ran out of credit. I had to go and top my mobile up. I, I go through my combo is is forty six dollar, and then it, uh, 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 the, but my my apps steals all my credit, my uh, data. If I leave it switched on, the the Facebook is Facebook especially. So I have to turn it off. My daughter showed me how to turn it off all the time. So I have to go to the apps and the setting and turn off all your apps. Otherwise, it just snaps it all up. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, I forgot to turn them off. And at night time, my phone's beeping all the time because someone is messaging me from, from Twitter or Google or, or, or Facebook. Yeah, it, they're trying to get a message to me. And all those messages come through text the data. Yeah, oh, okay. so that's what you've got to, you've got to watch. Uh, but anyway, just getting back to the... Uh, uh, projects and, and stuff <clears throat> uh, at the East Cape. I never did anything with anything until that flag was up and it's taken me a long time to teach uh, those people what's going on and how to do things. It's, I've just got to keep repeating myself all the time. So I make videos. I've got about 920 videos uh, explaining everything and they do, still don't go and watch them. Uh, there's more people in Britain where I've got contacts there that no, they say to me, what's wrong with your native people, John? Why aren't they seeing what we see? And they're waiting over there for me to go to Westminster. So I should have gone by myself, but now everybody wants to go. You see? Well, I, I, I was going there to set our political party up. I've, I've got to go and sit there and set the business up. It's already registered there. <clears throat> for the My Powerhouse Group Limited shares in the Tidal Energy jet fuel from seawater. Uh, that's a big project that I've been on for a long time, and it's going around the 250 countries in the world on my website. As soon as we get one thing going, bang, it'll go right through the whole lot. And I've got our political party with the SOS Independent Party in London ready to go straight, walk straight into Westminster. In fact, I should be going there now and going straight in. Uh, with with uh, to nominate uh, King Ernest Augustus, uh, he's the reigning monarch of Britain, UK, and Hanover, to put him into the Parliament. Now I'm going to put it through the Waitangi Marae uh, and uh, Taumata to uh, petition him into the Crown to, to take the Queen out. You see, the, the Queen. When I went to court in Auckland District Court. I won my case because I used this flag and, and, and my authority to speak for the king. And I says to the judge, you got no queen above your head. She's not there. You can't do that. And so he dismissed the case. And then the police, police stood up. And away they went and said, oh, we've got issues against John taking down Cook Street. Right? And so with, with that, it opened up another contract with the, with, between the police, terminated, with, tempered with our, my default contract to the landowners of Cook Street. <clears throat> and, um, and then I landed up in prison with the other marshals that I contracted to go and take the land. Now I'm going to take it myself, you see. Uh, because the police are out of the equation because they, they, they had no insufficient evidence against me. And I didn't even have a court case. They just said the case is all over and I'm still waiting for my court case I never got. They've walked away from it and they didn't want anything to do with me going to court because I was going in there to shut them down, you see, by myself, because of, of, of uh, the jurisdiction in the court doesn't come anywhere near this flag if you know how to use it. I've, I've learned what from Mohi Manukau, to Manukau um, uh, what to do with it. Yeah, and the Vatican, New World Order, that's that flag. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to take out the Vatican uh, um, uh, 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 in getting them the pound note, you see? So I'm using the pound note for Cook Street, that's $2.5 billion worth of assets in their business, and shut them down. So all I had to do is pay for, for the court case in the Auckland District Court and take them out by myself. No lawyers. I, I, the lawyers... 
is my word against theirs, and, and that they can't match original title to the Manukau Land Company in Scotland. You see? It, it overrides all these titles in New Zealand. When they had the uh, Kororareka government there, the first British government there, I'm using the captain that got off the ship um, uh, um, and said the land belonged to the king. So now I'm proclaiming in, in Waitangi Marae on, on, on Waitangi Day that the land belongs to the chiefs and not the king or the queen. And so these Ngāpui fellows have got it now, and, and Tupi's got it as well, of what I'm trying to say for a long, long time, that that's all you have to do is capture the, the ship and the, and, and the marae on the other side where they do their business. And that's worth... Hey? Yeah, in the... In, the, the, the crown jewels of the Queen's business, of the, the, the Queen Victoria Trust, is in, inside the Watangi Marae. You see, so they're, in, they're, they're impersonating us, uh, us inside that marae with their business. That's their authority. They always have to come into Titi Marae to get consent to go on the other side. And, and, and I told Kingi, you know what to do? Stop John Key from coming in this marae. And he won't have consent to go do, to go over there. That's the TPP. You know, John Key signed the TPP uh, without coming into Titi Marae. You see. So on the documents, that's how it looks. All I'm doing is tracking them with this flag, and using the flag on them. So that's that's the. But when it comes to the projects, then um, 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 I've got a few projects going on a few blocks. I'm on about 25 blocks. Uh, from Apodiki down to Wairo, down to Ruatoria, uh, East Cape, and Hicks Bay, and Rotten Point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So all of the, all what I'm doing is with the title, the main title to the whole country that I'm holding here with all the originals. All I do is find land blocks and uh, and put them under the flag. And they do what they want to because I'm going to England. I'm going to steer it from that end, right? That's why I didn't need anybody to come with me because I'm going there to live. I'm going to get out of here because I've had enough of it. And I, I, the, the money's on that end, right? I'm setting up the bank over there to take the Bank of England out. I, I can do it. Take the Bank of England and bankrupt them with this pound note. Yeah, because they haven't got the rights to the pound note we have. The, the Rothschilds bought the bank, uh, but they didn't have the rights to the pound note we have in contract with this flag, right? It's a contract. It's, this is a private contract. Nobody's business of what I say to anything that they, they, they can't come and interfere with what the police did to me on Cook Street is proof that they can't interfere with what I say. When I say that I want the white thing in my life, they, they, they first say to me, we can't stop you, Don. There's too much evidence that you, you, you have to do what you do. You see, there's a fellow like me and, 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 and Tupi that stick to our guns uh, with our whakapapa is one thing, but that's not all. That's not all. It's, it's the native title that the British are using here. That's no, you, only need, you only need the two chiefs to go to Westminster. That's it. You don't need anybody else. You see? Because they don't hold the contract up at Waitangi. I'm holding it here with the Waikato uh, chief, Tira Waikato Whareherehere Manikau, went to England in 1820 and put the native title together over there for the whole world. That's over here through the Vatican. <coughs> the Vatican uh, more or less owns the whole world, the, the Jesuits. So I'm doing the Jesuits work uh, uh, um, in, in their face. Yeah. So I'm not afraid of anything because I've got God on my side and I didn't need anybody around me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's been the, that's the Moai statue on East Island I'm talking for because that's my own Wānoa family. That's my own Wānoa family uh, a memorial. See, with land titles, you need a memorial, you need a chief, and you need a title on the land, and that's it.
the Moai is standing in all the most powerful countries in this world, and they took them off Easter Island, and I'm claiming them back to the people of the world. To, to the people of the world. Hey? Eh? Yeah, yeah, straight there with the DNA, uh, straight to Nubia, Africa. They got the same DNA as us, my family. No, no, Maori is one thing, Moai is another. Maori is, Maori is, is a Crown Corporation invention. There's no such tribe as Maori. It only started in the war, 18, 1945. The Treaty of Waitangi that's got Maori, everything that's got Maori on it belongs to the Crown. Maori Land Court, Maori Tribunal, Maori this and Maori that, that's their copyright and their patent. Maori, Maori is a tribe they split up because they can control Maori and Maori, Maori has to go to the tribunal or somewhere to, to try and get their land back. That's too hard. I'll just go with the Moai because they're holding that title in London in the Queen uh, Elizabeth Great Court. And that's my title. You see? That title and the Manukau, Scottish land titles all over the world, is Scotland, British. The titles here to this country is, got seized by the British back from Kururareka up in Russell when they blew the whole place up with cannons, fire from the ships, and brought the, 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 the government, the British government, to Auckland, Kohimaruma, before it went to Wellington. That's the title they put on. They seized all the title and put it back in Manukau. Now I'm seizing them all back and putting them back in Manukau. You see? That, that's it. Every piece of land now comes subject to that title. And, and so all I do is go to Britain and reissue new titles straight from Britain and wipe the other ones out. All the titular defender, all those things, gone. That, that, I do that by myself because all the old chiefs left all their titles with me in the Confederation. That's why they can't hack it. You see? So now, now I use that globally in the 250 countries to go right through all the governments in the country with this flag, virtually by myself. Like John Key, he goes by himself. Prime Minister of this country for everybody, see? Now that's one thing, but when it comes to the project, I've got no money. All I have to do is kick Cook Street off and I've got 2.5 billion in the bank, ANZ Bank, sitting there. Those power notes I put together on Facebook are sitting in the ANZ Bank, ready to fire up. So all I have to do is pay 2,000 or whatever it is for the, uh, put over the counter, and, and then I could, once I'm standing on the land block that I tried to get for, for, for 12 years, then I stand on there and ring the bank up to come up and put the put the put the no no liens, just an overdraft over, over the land, overdraft, and then get the tenants there to pay pay the thing. Then put the high rise up higher than bigger than the sky tower. The plans I've got all the plans, the original that they had in 2008. Up she goes with the Chinese. Yep, one hit. And the tidal turbines, that's 20 billion project right through the Pacific. Uh, no, no, I haven't worked with any investors. I've put put it out. They know what I'm doing on from off Facebook and my website. I haven't approached any investors because I've got a power note. I can go and use the power note straight away. I've already legalised it in in Waitangi, Marae on the 15th of April. Uh, they let me go in the Marae and I went with Kingi and Hohepa, Epiha and, and Willie Peter and a few others and the Maori government went in there and passed the acts through, through, through that uh, King's Bench Court, Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court. Now we're going to go on Waitangi Day and on, the, on the 6th of February next year, sit in there at 4 o'clock in the morning, wait for John Key to come in and give him the, I'll give him the bill for a few trillion. Against his debt, he owes us on that power note. See? That's how I do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's all online. All my videos are saying that. I'm, I'm making bold statements, and no one's refuted nothing. No, no one's, no one's refuted. But the thing is this: because I got no money to pay for the rent of 700 a year on that 45 hectare block, I, I lose it on on uh, on on Wednesday. Uh, and it didn't bother me whether I lose it or not, because I'll just jump on the next one that's coming up. 
um, but um, um, just to just to set set the project up for the uh, tidal turbines and the uh, seaweed aqua farms in the uh, in the ocean, right? So um, uh, all of those things are one thing. But what I wanted to do was uh, um, the Te Tumutumu Pairo was waiting for a business plan for something to do with the land use, you see? Because I'm not a farmer or, or agriculturist and I haven't got any big, my projects are too big to just go and see, it won't show a return on investment on tidal turbines because they're not out there yet. And, and I'm relying on the power note to get kick things off, but I have to just put something in there to cover the rent and for the shareholders. I'm, 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 I'm the uh, trustee now of, of that land block. And, and so um, uh, they're just waiting for a, someone to produce uh, something like an orchard or, 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 or beef or something use of that land. And all I'm doing is cutting out some of it for an airstrip, uh, put an airstrip so I can land the plane in, being my mate in Tauranga, he's with pilots. And um, I can get around quicker with a uh, chopper and that when I when I get around to that. Uh, I've got. No, just the one, just just, just the one that uh, hitting a twelve. I'm going to use the other blocks for the for the big buildings I'm going to put up and, and and whatnot for the base for the base for the helicopters to come in, and the military will be will be operating from Rangitukia on that land block, one of the ones I'm on there. I'm, I'm I'm getting the British military here to set up to police the whole ocean and everywhere. Uh, but that little block, all I wanted to do was to put. Uh, a plan together for somebody's business to operate and I just cut out the block where where, where I want to uh, uh, put a base for now. Okay. It's got a five by five year lease uh, and I've got the, the lease for that uh, first block out of 25 blocks I've got um, uh, an owner in. I'm just going to plant, plant them off one by one once I get the power note going. I'll just throw it straight and build everything up straight off. Um, with no problems from Cook Street. So in the mo meantime, I just needed something like a, a avocado or, or a Tupi was saying a rose farm or something, like but at least a business plan for Tutumutumu to accept. See, if I said I'm going to put some cows on there, they would give it to me. But I haven't got cows. I'm not interested in cows or, or sheep because I'm not. that's not my field. Um, and, and so it, it needed just a plan simple plan and for uh, like a sublease or, or of, of, of the land, the, the majority of the land and I just have a piece of it cut out for the airport and, 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 uh, and the buildings. Yeah. Yeah. Today is the twenty third. So what what will happen is, uh, with that, I'll, I'll, you let me have something that what you think, and then I'll ring to Tumu Tumu. They'll ring you direct and deal with you direct, because at this stage it's a business on that land block that 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 is your business, not mine. Your business, and and all I'm interested in is covering covering uh, the, what they require. I'm short of the mark of requirements and the business plan was the part that was short and they said to me get a banker or accountant or, or a consultant to put a, uh, a plan together for me but rather than that if I can get one block sorted I can do it with any other block after that and what All, 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 it, all it is 
this is this. They just wanted a phone call from a consultant or someone that can cover that area. It, you didn't have to go and whop something up and take a long time. It was just a phone call to Te Tumu Tumu that you will cover my back with that area that I'm short of. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's right. But um, I, I just want to let you know that um, I've got two other people that was at the meeting. Uh, one is Bruce Joyce. He's he's a uh, he's um, like, I've known him for a long time. He's an engineer, and he he's got big heavy trucks, and he's converted them to hydrogen. He's in the hydrogen game. We're going to get on hydrogen projects with another guy in in, in Toronga. Uh, that's that's uh, fuel cells and hydrogen. We're putting the tidal turbines in the sea together, so that will cover the other block, one of the other blocks there, uh, for that project, uh, and that we're going to set up. But he is also uh, may um, fund me for Cook Street for the for the court hearing, uh, and so he might he he might. I'm meeting him today, but. Um, I'm, I've been discussing this up at Waitangi, I'm, I'm up at Kaitai when we went up there. Him and also uh, the Japanese uh, woman and, and, and the Maori guard, Te Poroho uh, Ruka, uh, he, 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 he's got business in Japan. And I've got the seaweed aqua farms and the deep sea fisheries off the coast with him. And so he's looking at uh, of the other block or putting a plan together for that before the lease is due that I take over two other blocks there on that Port Awanui. Uh, right? Just to let you know, I've, I've got the other two guys in this whole mix. That's fine. You can just focus on the block that you'd like Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it now. Yep. Yeah, I'll do that now. I'll, I'll, I'll sit down now to do it, and then I'll email it to you, right? I'll, I'll, I'll just email the same email. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. There, that's on the record now. <clears throat> I'm talking to Nick um, down on the honey farm, the um, honey, um, honey, um, honey, um, Altidor Honey, Cooperative Honey Limited Company. So I'm involving them with a plan to Te Tumu Tumu. To put a plan together for the heading a 10 a 12 block the heading a 12 block i'm working with these um, um, people who already got farms um, avocado farms uh, rose farm um, uh, potential and um, um, kiwi food and also other businesses that they're running at the same time uh, in Whanarua bay east coast and apotiki and uh, Denver, Colorado, <clears throat> America. So they've got a, a pathway through to America. And I'll have a pathway back to Japan where I went, in Isotobi and Osaka, uh, Isotobi uh, seaweed farms and deep sea fisheries, uh, straight to the East Cape. So we've got three people, the other guy, um, Bruce Joyce, um, uh, in the uh, hydrogen um, technology fuel and heavy transport industry. So he's running business with uh, trucks converted to run on diesel and hydrogen. And then we've got Kevin Rice, my, my uh, co-director in, in uh, Torrin, uh, that does fuel cells and hydrogen. So we've got a pretty volatile um, business set up here to go straight into the sea right now. We, we, we just need a little spark uh, one or the other, and I'm hoping that Bruce will um, uh, pay my court hearing in, in, in the uh, Auckland High Court for Cook Street and sort that lot out, sort them, 
thugs out uh, for stopping me, uh, the police stopping me from doing what I'm, my job is this way. The authority of King William IV, surrogate, this way. Authority, Napui and Matatua, Tomata, are now understanding more the reality of this flag livened up on Waitangi Day, 6 February 2017. It's legal now. We've made it legal on the 15th of April 2016. So uh, to uh, Nick at Aotearoa Cooperative Honey Company Limited in uh, Apotiki and down in Whanarua Bay, thank you very much for that. Um, we sure will work with your cooperative company uh, online and in front of the world stage. Uh, and I'm um, in um, Omaya on the um, uh, Omaya block 39 uh, with the um, um, trust there uh, with Titumutumu Pairoa with avocados, honey, and also um, kiwi fruit or Chinese gooseberries, the old name. Okay, so we're, we're, I'm on that land block there as an owner, and so I'm. Um, Looking forward to working at um, Whanarua Bay uh, with my friends there, Kingies and, and the, um, oh I forgot the, uh, the other family now, um, but um, with uh, aqua farms in the sea, ocean, that I've been talking about for a long time, uh, Ram, Ra, Ramai uh, McGee uh, in, uh, in Marae Hoko, Marae Hoko in Whanarua Bay around the corner. Uh, that's my friend there work with us uh, to police the seas and to um, administer this business uh, with uh, native land titles back to Maui King William Trust. Okay, so uh, I'm happy with that uh, progress uh, report. And uh, you can see um, um, Jim Wikotu, uh, uh, Tupi is his name, uh, on this Aotearoa Cooperative Honey Company Limited, and he's um, pretty well uh, got the experience that was required for um, credible business company brand names. Okay, I'm just saying to um, Nick, um, the Moai um, is a worldwide brand name already in this way. To take that brand around the world with his brand. So we are working together with other companies, not only Maori, Pakia or Indian or Chinese or with other Japanese, coming to straight to the East Coast on the block there to develop the farms in the mid-ocean, because that's what they do. They're masters at uh, sushi and seaweed, paringo, karingo uh, products that we can package, refrigerate and export straight from there after feeding our own people first in this country. So, that's all I want to say for now. Um, we'll get on with it. I've got a meeting with uh, Bruce Joyce today when he uh, calls me. So I better get these things off to um, uh, Nick, uh, Chairman of the uh, Aotearoa Cooperative Honey Company. And so he can put a pro proposal together, it's only got till 23rd, which is Wednesday. Uh, to put it in on my behalf, a plan, a business plan for whatever he wants to put on the 45 hectare Herenga a Fabra. Okay, so that means I'm cutting out some of the block for an airport to land in and um, um, workshop where we can uh, set up our tidal energy projects and also the sea aqua farms and power projects on Ranfurry Bay. We're doing that through this flag in Waitangi, Marae King's Bench Native Court, jurisdiction of Admiralty, King William IV, and our Hapu uh, chiefs, Tomata, Tomatua Native Court, Jui. There, wrapped up together like that. So I'm talking about things that are uh, crucial uh, with this um, concept plan of Maui to work in with uh, Jim uh, Tupi, uh, um, Wikotu, 
he's on our land blocks at East Cape on the Ha Ha block. So him and I will go and sort that lot out. And he's assured me that he will sort that lot out. And why it's, the trusts have stopped me from going on those land blocks because they wanted my plans um, for the echo farms at uh, Marangaro Sea block and they want every other plan that I have in their trust. No, not so. It stays with the people of the world. My eyes for the people of the world. My crown, federal, state, commonwealth, government of the world. To my eye, down, no. Every data instrument. Okay. That's all. Uh, we'll see you later. Bye for now. Better get on with this. Bye.